What I feel I'd like to do is um, reach out to those people who don't really know very much about investment and maybe your money is still in the bank or in the building society or, 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 or maybe it is invested but you don't really understand where your money is or what it's doing actually. So I want to go back to that picture I began to paint, you know. Um, we've all been to a, a local street market, haven't we? And the stall holders are all trying to sell tomatoes or whatever it is they've got on, the, on, on their tabletop to us. Well, the stock market is somewhat like that, except that um, the things that are on the, 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 the market stall tables are just different kinds of investments. So just very briefly, I want to share with you a little picture that might help you to, to begin to work your way through this. Let's make the stock market really quite simple for a minute. I don't know if you happen to have a, a pen, a piece of paper, you could just draw a vertical line and then a line across. So you've got four boxes. Yep. Uh, and in the top left hand box, if you wrote the word cash, cash, or we could say near cash, that's an investment. Okay, holding cash on deposit it is a savings or it's a form of, uh, of investment in a way. We'll talk about that in a minute. In the second box below that, I'd like you to write the words fixed interest, fixed interest, because that's the second category of investment you can you, you can buy through the actual stock market. In the, the, the box at the top right hand corner, you could write, write the word property. You may not know that you can buy property through the stock market without actually having to buy a property yourself. Could be much simpler, couldn't it? Um, and the box underneath that We'll just put the word equities or shares in there really let me just cover this for but because once you've got a handle of those four things you'll at least have the basics the basic introduction to begin to look at the stock market and to begin to look at different forms of investment other than just the bank and so forth oh and by the way did you know that you can invest in the stock market from as little as 50 pounds per month right so uh, the young lady i mentioned um I put 400 pounds in over four months 100 pounds a month and it's grown to nearly 450. ah let's be careful stock markets investments can go down as well as up yeah you you you, you can lose money i've never known anybody related to me ever lose all their money never known anybody lose all their money, anything like all their money in that stock market and very often we read the small print and it warns us and it says quite rightly it says you may not get back as much as you put in and so on but you know that small print isn't entirely truthful it only it only tells us about one side of the coin which is the negative side flip it over from tails to heads and you find the good news that the reason the stock market is there is for one reason is because you can make a lot of money through it and most people do come and join them so what about cash very quickly well cash um, the problem with putting your money on deposit is that when you come to spend the money you saved, it won't buy as much in the shops as if you spent it on the first day. That's because the, the cost of living rises, as you know, and your, your, the interest you get doesn't grow in line with that. Fixed interest fairly quickly. That's where you are led to. There are only two fundamental ways of investing your money through the stock market. One is by lending your money to governments or to businesses, which is what we call the fixed interest market. And the other thing is, is you can buy, you can buy ownership of companies by investing in funds, uh, where your fund managers buying shares uh, of different companies like BT and Shell and, uh, and some of the big banks and so on. So you're, you're either lending money through uh, the fixed interest market or you're buying ownership through shares. The other box uh, that we had there was the, the box of property wasn't there there your, your fund manager that you're you're investing through is buying commercial property so that, that shops re retail and office blocks and um, also industrial units and so on as well and then you get two kinds of return there don't you because um, your, your, your managers buying uh, shops and, and bricks and mortar uh, commercial property and office blocks that's bricks and mortar that we hope will rise in value. Meantime, there's a rental income coming in. And for all of these investments, except cash, except cash, you can, you can learn how to get two kinds of return from every penny that you invest. I need to stop there for the sake of time. 
to help those four boxes there's some very very basic elementary introduction cash um, and uh, lending your money um, and then buying ownership of companies or investing in property and those are the four main areas of the stock market but do come back in contact with me if you'd like to know why I just love to share uh, my understanding and knowledge and I'd like to see you then benefit from that and move ahead and do new things with your money thanks for listening